Hi guys. Um, I know that it's still the 24th and I'm in a different shirt. But I'm going to be adding this to tomorrow's vlog in the beginning. Um, so I just cleaned some more. I just changed my clothes and washed up and stuff. And Cody texted me and this last Monday, I think it was. I think it was this last Monday. Um, this last week. So a week ago today. Uh, we were supposed to get a call from the people in the apartment building that we want to check out. And we checked it out. We were like, yeah, we want this one and stuff like that. And they were like, okay, well, the people in this one are going to be leaving by Monday. Uh, call on Monday and we should be able to let you check out the cleaned out apartment and everything. So we did that. We called both the numbers. I, Cody called the number on the... Um, business card that he gave us and I called the number that I called previously to get the appointment in the first place the first day that we went that uh Saturday before on uh unless it was Friday I don't know before that Monday or maybe it was Wednesday anyways <laughs> we it's been a week and I thought they were never going to call us back I was like maybe they just don't want us to move in or something like maybe they something came up and they don't like us yada yada i figured they were never gonna call us back cody just texted me and they called him back and we should be able to uh see them i think he said on thursday in the afternoon there's two two bedroom apartments there that are open that we get to look at and i really want one because last night i had like mental breakdown and i was talking to cody and i was freaking out because i hated living here and this and that and everything wrong with this apartment and the landlord and just how much I did not want to be here anymore. And then them finally calling us and being like, yeah, we got your message a week late. Yeah, we got your message and yada, yada, whatever. And Cody set up an appointment to be able to go and see them. And I'm glad they called Cody anyways because Cody's the one with the job. So they'd have to work around his schedule because I lost my job a while back. So um, that's good. We can get to see them. I'm really excited for that. I cannot wait because I told Cody, I'm like, even if we pay all this stuff, like the rent and the prices for the cats being able to live in the apartment, I'm like, I don't care if we put in all this money and then only live there until th for like, say three months and then move again because we don't like it there. I just want out of here. I want out of here so bad. I'm willing to spend money to live somewhere else just to get out of this place, even if we end up moving again sometime in the middle or into summer, or like in the fall. Because I just, I hate it here so bad that I'm hoping Cody's okay with living there. The driveway's kind of weird because the street it's on goes up like a 90 degree angle, and then all of a sudden you have to make a 90 degree turn, like literally it's straight off the road and right before the curve, you just gotta whoop right into the driveway. Cody doesn't like that, and I've never seen any accidents on that road. But I'm guessing they plow it really well and they keep it nice because that's a really steep hill and I've never seen any accidents on that road and I've seen big school buses go down that road and it's like a 90 degree angle like walking up and down it. <laughs> that's a climb. So, but I did tell Cody there's another way to go around and you can go around the longer way, but it makes it to where you don't have to go up that hill or technically even down the hill if you didn't want to go down the hill so that... He can go around the corner and around the hill, and right where the hill's starting, he'll be able to turn into the driveway, and I feel like that would make it a lot easier for both of us to be able to get in and out of the driveway safely, like, mostly in the winter, though, rather than going down this really steep hill. So, anyways, long five-minute rant, basically. <laughs> um, but that's the gist of it. Um, me rambling. I could probably ramble about this all day, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'll probably talk about it more when it comes up. Uh, I'm guessing Cody works Thursday in the morning, but, um, yeah, I might get some footage if they are empty apartments. Um, last time when we checked out the apartment, the, there were people still living in it that were going to be moving out, and then the other people were going to be moving in. There was people there, so we didn't, so I didn't film anything, and the people in the one apartment, oh my god, they had the cutest cat in the world. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm getting out of hand. So, 
I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in the morning. I'm guessing Cody works tomorrow. Regardless, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll let you know what's going on if anything else happens. And I'm just really excited. Look at this cute little kitty. Oh, what a babe. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> hey. How's it going, Eve? <laughs> How was your nap? Did you have a good nap? We put the a blanket. This one's the blanket my mom made me. It's one of those mermaid tail ones. Um on the on Cody's chair cuz sometimes randomly but other times after you're done petting her she'll decide to scratch and she's done it to Cody's chair do you see that that's exhibit A and this chair was like 300 bucks I think I don't know Cody got it like three years ago or whatever but maybe two years ago I don't know he's had it for a long while and it's been in perfect condition until we got this cat. <sighs> this cat. Hey guys. It is the morning. I have coffee. And I'm dead inside. Yesterday my allergies were better and I was streamed and it was nice. But today my eyes burn. And itch so bad, I want to take them out of my head. I just, I just want to take them out. So, I'm going to take another half of Benadryl today. And I took some yesterday too, even though my allergies were fine. Because I figured it, it would still kind of help. But my allergies weren't bad at all yesterday. And I could have gone without it. T like, I just want to take my eyes out of my head. They itch so bad. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. I hate it, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I'm watching a Twitch stream while I wake up, and I also have YouTube up as well. Um, I got my coffee, I got some water, and I got some apple juice that I didn't finish last night, so I put it in the fridge. I'm just gonna dig my eyeball out of my head, don't mind me. Oh my god. My eyeball. There's little birds outside my window. You probably can't hear them, but they're really cute. They sound really cute. I like little birdies. I wish I could have birds, but I got cats, and my cats would probably try to eat them. So, I can't have birds. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um... I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I really wanted to stream, but my eyes want to fall out of my head, so I don't know. Uh, my stepbrother this morning said that I guess Streamlabs came out with their own version of OBS today or whatever. Um, I'm fine with OBS. I don't really want to switch, but it's pretty cool. I might check it out, but I I don't know. I don't think I. I'll use it, um, because I already know how to use OBS, and I like OBS. Uh, it kind of crashed on me yesterday, but besides that, I like it, so I don't think I'm going to switch, but I think that's still pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they also have an app, too, to live stream from to Twitch, so. Cody only works until 3.30 today, I think. Um, today's Wednesday. This week's moving really fast, which means it, which means tomorrow we get to look at that apartment, and I'm excited. I am. I don't know what time. Cody never told me a time, but I'm guessing whenever he gets out of work. I'm assuming he works tomorrow. Um, so that'll be cool. Uh, I'm really hoping the apartment's nice, and that Cody likes it, because then we can move out of here. So, I have high hopes, but... I don't know if they're too high, so... <laughs> uh, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. The two bedrooms are pretty nice, and they're not much more money a month than our um, studio apartment. Plus, um, 
I think water and electric is included or something. I don't remember. But that'll be pretty nice uh, if we decide to do that. So I can't wait to look at it. I really want to know what time. But I'll wait until Cody gets home and I'll ask him. Instead of texting him when he's at work. My eyes were dry this morning because laying in bed with the fan on, the fan was blowing into my eyes, and then I was fine for a little bit, and now they just itch so bad. It's like the fan blew all the allergies straight into my eye sockets. But hopefully, no blah blah. That was not really English. Hopefully, it's all um, better within like the next hour. At least just a little bit, cause. My eyes itch so bad, and I can't stand it. I really can't, so. I'll see you guys in a little bit after I, um, take my eyes out of my head and wake up a little bit. I'm so not a morning person. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello, it's been a couple hours. I'm almost done with my coffee. I actually forgot about it for a while, so. I haven't drank too much of, well, I drank most of it. There's only, like, maybe one or two sips left. I drink most of my apple juice. I downloaded a couple, like, things for The Sims. Uh, like a college career. And stuff that way they could technically, like, go to school and, um. And then, um. They can do better in their career, whatever you want to choose for them, I guess. I thought that would be neat, so I did that. And I downloaded something else. Oh, a cotton candy thing and a canning thing. So there's a couple other things that my sims can do. Um, I'm playing The Sims right now. It just had an update and I, um, I made a vet clinic. So that's going pretty well. I'm enjoying that. Uh, I just made it and, um, I can show it to you. This is, uh, my vet clinic. So I got three different rooms. I got this room, this room, and this room. I got like the main entrance area here. Uh, I did get food and stuff like that just in case like they like a pet needs to eat or something. Uh, this because why not? I don't actually know what it does, but I figured why not. Um, I got a uh, surgery machine or whatever that's called. I have two bathrooms. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if I can do anything with this sign. I don't think I can. It's just a white sign. I thought I could put something on it, so I'll probably end up replacing it. I added a bunch of flowers and stuff because that brings up the environment. Um, I added some posters on the wall, and I just generally made it look pretty nice. And I just opened it, so it only has, um, what, three reviews. I've made $500 so far. I have um, two employees which is nice and I want to train them up so that's what I'm doing right now I thought it would be pretty neat to try it out because ever since I got the thing where you could um I don't even know what pack it came in but where you could own your own, own, your own business I've never tried that and I figured I would because I kind of wanted to make her event anyways and I actually uh, like it a lot um, it's different than I thought it would be but I actually like it so, and I mean, today's the first day I've had it open, but <sighs> she was from a previous challenge that I did. I did a, um, runaway teen challenge, and she was part of that, uh, but since I ended that, I figured, um, I'm gonna have her quit her job, because I had to do a job. I'm gonna have her quit her job, because she's running the vet clinic, but, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she was from my uh, Runaway Teen Challenge, but I still wanted to keep playing her, so I knew I wanted to make her a vet, so I was like, yeah, what? why not just try out owning my own business, because I mean, I've had it in the game for a while and I've not used it yet, so I like it. It's pretty neat. I, I don't know if I want to change much with it, because you can change like prices and stuff like that. Oh, so that's what that means. Oh, that's stress level. Okay. So. 
it's not bad, it's not bad. It's going pretty well. Um, I like this a lot. I didn't know if I'd like it, but I, I really do. So that's pretty neat. So, I'm gonna play this for a little bit longer and, um, probably make some food because I'm starting to get hungry. It's almost 12.30. I was thinking about streaming today, but I don't think I will. But then I can't stream tomorrow, I don't think. I'll have to see when Cody works. I'll see when Cody works, I'll see when we're checking out the apartments, and I'll see if I can stream tomorrow. If I can't stream tomorrow, then I'll stream today, and I'll make food and I'll go live, but it depends on what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, I did take half a Benadryl, my eyes are doing a whole ton better, they don't itch anymore. They're just like, tired and stressed out eyeballs, but they're doing better. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say, I think. Uh, I will be uploading this vlog today. That way I can have the other one go up tomorrow of uh, the new apartment. If I get footage, if I don't get footage, then there probably won't be a vlog tomorrow. I have no idea. There probably still will be. I haven't really thought it all through yet of what I want to do, but we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to go text Cody, see what's going on with tomorrow. I'm going to play The Sim, and... Be the best vest, really? The best vet I can be. I have one person working today, and I just hired another guy. He should be in tomorrow. And I might stream this. So, I kind of want to play Stardew. I might stream Stardew. I've been really into Stardew, so I might do that. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so, I just started playing again. And I figured out what this was for. This I can make treats and stuff to go in that vending machine. So I was wondering why it was empty. I thought it was going to come with stuff. But look at this. What does that mean? Open for negative 661 hours. That just said 7 hours a minute ago. What does that mean? What? What does that mean? What does that mean? What is... What? This is so weird. I mean, I'm at two stars now. What the heck? Vet rush? Temporarily increase the number of patients who come in. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. Um, if I ever need like a rush hour sort of deal. But what, the, what does that mean? I'm going to save. Just in case. Because what the heck? I've never, I've never owned a business before, but the people that I have seen own a business have never had that happen to my knowledge. I've never seen that. That is so weird. Oh, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I need to send her home because it's 1.30 in the morning. Because I guess this takes longer than I thought it would. So I might not open the clinic tomorrow. <laughs> what the heck? What does that mean? Like, neg neg like, does that mean that I wasn't, like, it goes below zero and I wasn't open? Or, like, I just want to understand what that means. Because if it says negative, doesn't that automatically assume that it goes below zero? But I was... I'm so confused. And I was also listening to a vlog, so I'm sorry. I forgot to pause that. Um, what? The weirdest things happen in my sims all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> the last sim I made, the first four hours she was alive, I had her make food. And she just stood there for hours, and I figured she was glitched. So I reset her and everything, and... I get back to her, and she's on fire, and she dies. <laughs> oh. Why do I play this game? Why do I play this game? Oh, my God. This, this game. My lips are super chapped today. Oh, wow. What? That happens again, I'll let you know, but that's just weird as heck. I did text Cody. I didn't get any response from him yet, so I'm still waiting on that, but that's okay. Um, he's at work, and he'll be home by, like, 4 o'clock anyway, so I'm not, 
I'm not super concerned. But also her fun went down when she was at work and that sucks. Because now she's all sorts of sad. I hope she doesn't like sleep in late or something. Because now it's 3 a.m. and she's eating. But. First day of owning my own business was weird. Yeah, that was weird. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, hopefully when it's less weird. Hi guys. I, um, yeah, Pubbles. <laughs> I, um, played The Sims for a couple of more days. Um, currently I'm just trying to get my sim to eat. She needs to eat food and go to bed. <laughs> you see her? But, um, I haven't had that problem since, which is good, because that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I, probably a glitch or something, I'm guessing. Um, Cody will be home soon. I ate tuna for lunch, and I'm thinking about making tea because my throat hurts. I think it's for my allergies. S pebbles. So, <laughs> I'm going to um, probably make some hot tea. Um, what? Come here. Come here. You're moving my chair, baby. Yeah, come here. So, um... I don't know what I'll make. I'm thinking lemon ginger tea because I've been really enjoying that. Come here. Come in. Come on. Come here. She's being so stubborn. Um. What was I saying? Oh, I did text Cody and he didn't respond, so I'm just gonna pebbles. So I'm just gonna talk to him when he gets home about when he works tomorrow and stuff like that. Um. I'm guessing he only works till like 3.30 or something. That's what I'm guessing at least. Uh, but I have no clue. Uh, he said he had, Pebbles, he said he had a lot of um, long shifts this week. But his last two haven't, or his one yesterday was long. Mondays and today's wasn't very long. So I'll just talk to him when he gets home and see what goes from there. Um. That's about it, really, I think. Uh, I don't need to do dishes, because I did dishes yesterday. She wants to come on my desk. Normally, I don't let her, but she's being a jerk today. So, I don't need to do dishes today, which is good. Ooh, I put uh, my wax melt in the freezer, and I gotta take that out um, to put a new one in. So, I'm gonna go do that as well. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What are you doing?